Jeez. Welcome back to Bizarre Reviews. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. As you know or may not know, I'm starting to get into the crypto scene. Uh, I missed it about six years ago. I think I just started getting into Bitcoin and then I abandoned it. I wish I didn't. I probably would have been pretty wealthy right now. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm trying to get into it now. And what I want to do is build. I saw another guy on YouTube. I'll, I'll uh, link his channel in the in the description and he built um just using some random parts he he built a computer um for like a cardano cardano staking server so i want to do that myself i have a lot of parts that are just sitting around that i've had from previous builds uh i did buy this off amazon and the motherboard from ebay but everything here is used um i had this uh 250 gig ss samsung ssd some ram laying around this processor we got a Corsair power supply and a little cheap fan. I have an open air case coming later. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and start getting this thing built. Hopefully the case comes in time and then we'll boot it up. We'll throw some Linux on there and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if we can uh, actually get a stake, uh, staking pool built or at least for the test net, uh, get it built. So stay tuned you guys. This is gonna be a cool video. All right, guys, so this is the parts I'm going to be using. So starting off with the motherboard, I got an Asus Prime B450M. I got this used with the CPU, which is going to be an AMD Ryzen third gen processor. Uh, the CPU already came with it. I did install that in an earlier video that I was shooting. I'll show the clip there. Uh, of me installing that with the thermal compound and I put this fan on. This is the generic fan. I may swap this fan out later if it's too loud. Uh, next I had a Samsung 250 gig hard drive that was lying around. It was too small for another project I was working on. So we'll go ahead and wipe that and then uh, we'll use this as the hard drive just to start. We may increase the storage uh, later. Also I got uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 Corsair Vengeance RAM highly rated that I did buy brand new and we got the Corsair uh, TX650 semi-modular power supply uh, gold rated this bad boy I got used off Amazon for a hundred bucks so let's get all these parts installed and then we'll go ahead and uh, install Linux on and then I'll probably film a second video showing um, how to get installed uh, the how to get the staking pull installed all right so let's get started
Alright guys, now that we have the hardware build all done, let's go ahead and download the Ubuntu desktop software. So just head to Ubuntu.com as you can see there and just go ahead and click download. I already downloaded mine. It's about, uh, I think it's one gig or so. So let that download. While that's downloading, go ahead and go over to Rufus.com and download the uh, bootable USB software here. Uh, if you have another software you use to do this, that's absolutely fine. This is just what I use. So uh, I already have both of these downloaded, so let's just go ahead and open up Rufus. This is a standalone program, so it just pops right up, which is really cool. And let's just go ahead and minimize this so you guys can see there. Now, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and throw in a blank USB drive or a USB drive that you don't mind being erased into your USB port. When you do that, it should pop right up and show you uh, and select it, which mine just did. It may not say Ubuntu because I already have this downloaded, so don't worry about that. Now, under boot selection, you want to select the ISO file that we downloaded. This is the Ubuntu desktop, the one gig file there. Perfect. Now, after that's done, just make sure everything's OK and go ahead and hit start. Write in ISO mode and hit OK. All right, so I'll be right back when this finishes. All right, now that everything's finished, just, just go ahead and close the program and eject your disk. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and take the USB stick out and head over to the PC build, and we'll go from there. All right, now that the device is booted up, just go ahead and select the USB as the boot drive and go ahead and install Ubuntu. This process doesn't take too long, and after it's done, you'll be prompted with a screen where you just do the final setup, uh, the final steps, which is just the keyboard layout, location, um, a couple other small things. All right, and that's where we're going to leave the video today, guys. So get ready for part two where I actually get the Cardano staking pull server up and running. This was just installing the hardware and getting the basic Ubuntu software installed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.